Hi, I'm Dan Ireland. This is Trailers from Hell. We're here to talk about one of the most beautiful, romantic, dramatic Valentine's Day movies that you could ever possibly watch. Billy Wilder's The Apartment, starring the immortal Jack Lemmon and Shirley MacLaine and Fred McMurray. Let's take a look. Fred McMurray, who plays Mr. Sheldrake, makes a deal with Jack Lemmon that if Jack gives him the key to the apartment so he can have an affair with Shirley MacLaine, then he, he can get a promotion. So what happens is basically Jack goes along with it, but unfortunately comes in one night when Shirley is being dumped by Fred McMurray and she's taken an overdose of pills and thus begins their friendship and one of the most beautiful screen pairings between two actors that I think I've ever seen and has yet to be matched. The film was beautifully shot by Joseph Lachelle in glorious black and white scope, which never you'll never see today. It's rare when you see a black and white cinemascope picture, but this is the epitome of black and white cinemascope and what it can do and the dimension it added. Adolf Deutsch's score is one of the most romantic scores put on film. And the classic tune of the theme from the apartment is by Ferrani and Teicher. One of my favorite Billy Wilder stories was I was having dinner one night with Larry Gross and Billy Wilder happened to walk by and Larry Gross turned around and said, Mr. Wilder, I just want to tell you what a genius you are. And Billy Wilder walked up to our table and said, excuse me, I didn't hear you. So Larry Gross repeated himself and said, Mr. Wilder, I just wanted to tell you what a genius you are. And Billy Wilder leaned forward and said, could you repeat that please? I couldn't hear you. So finally Larry screamed it out and Billy Wilder just smiled at him and turned around and walked out. That was the kind of impish humor that he had. But the brilliance he put in this movie earned the film 10 Academy Award nominations, but in it won for Best Picture of the Year. And um, I think to this date is probably my favorite Billy Wilder picture. If you haven't seen it, you must see this film.